Hello YouTube, it is GeForce and we are in the G Spot today. Let's do a surprise unboxing. Um, a buddy of mine, Mr. Jeff Barker, um, you may know him from Chasing 80s Toys. Uh, I will put the link to that channel in the description um, so you can follow them and see what Jeff's collection looks like and everything. Um, it's very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, he, I don't know, last week, week before, he just messaged me out of the blue. He's like, oh, I need your address. So I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, this uh, small coffin-sized box arrived on my doorstep. So I appreciate it, Jeff. I don't know what you uh, have sent. I have zero idea. Um so I think what we should probably do is open it up and find out what's in the box. I, I don't know. Seven's kind of coming to mind now. Nah, it doesn't stink. We're all right. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's just get into it. See what, see what Jeff sent us. All right. So we're going with a little bit of a different angle here because um, it's so big. I'm trying to get this in shot for you guys. But what we're going to use is our fancy dancy Alpha Touch knife available on Amazon. I should get paid for these ads. All right. What's on top here? Careful, this could be paper goods in here. You don't want to slice nothing. Don't go too deep with your knife, fellas. So yeah, Jeff um, and I finally got to meet at Joe Fest 2023. I had seen him on... Um, Chasing 80s toys and things like that, you know, I, I've known of him, but we never actually met. What the France? Do not even say. Oh, Jeff Barker, if you did this, you are a freaking legend. Oh, schnit. All right, now we're throwing paper because I'm excited. Oh, my God, guys. Get to France. You did not do this. <laughs> I cannot even believe what is in here. Oh, Lord. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute. I'm freaking the hell out. <laughs> This is absolutely awesome. Um, I don't know how much I talk about it or anything like that, but one of my Grail pieces, not overly expensive or anything like that, but it's, it's a little bit of money, um, was to get my childhood Death Star back. And from what I can tell in here, that is exactly what Jeff Barker sent me, and that is... Insane. I don't even know what to say. Holy crap. Oh, uh, it's going to be a fun night tonight. Sorry about the noise, guys. There's not a lot I can do with the paper. You've got to be gentle. This has me with a freaking chubby. Wow, I'm blown away. Expertly packed, by the way. We all say it every time we get a package from somebody. <laughs> Collectors do the best work when it comes to packing.
I got a floor full of packing stuff over there. Stickers are intact. Look at this. Very nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness. I'm not worthy. Oh my. Let's be careful with this one. And the smart thing he did also was use blue tape because it's not as sticky. It holds, but not as sticky as uh, sellotape or scotch tape if you're from the States. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. We got some little stuff. I would imagine these are the struts. Just cut my nails. I can't get the damn tape off. I feel a bit like Stu right now. I'm struggling open packages. Jeff, this is so far above and beyond. I am just gobsmacked. Alright, I'll tell you guys what. Um, since you know what it is and... Uh, all that we've done some unboxing so far let me get this unboxed and uh, we'll put it together and set it up how about that all right be right back holy crap kids that was a lot to unpack <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do that on film um, yeah I mean I can't even begin to thank him for this this is just crazy to me like this is what, 1978-79 Christmas all over again. I gotta remember how to put the thing together. I don't... <laughs> I know this goes on the bottom. Nice trash compactor. Door intact. Got the glass for all of it. Everything's there. Um, elevator works. Got the slider. Trap door. Got some struts. Got some cardboard. But, uh, yeah, so why don't we uh, take a look at this thing and we'll see if we can't get it put together here. So, I believe this goes here. This one goes uh, here. centerpiece of our elevator locks in there and our trash compactor slides in here okay step one <laughs> uh, I don't know which cardboard goes where. That is one thing I definitely do not remember. Um, these struts, how do they go in? Is there a keyway? Yes, on that one it seems to be. Hmm. Hmm. I'm doing it wrong. Put a 
those white. I think they are. It's been, shoot, 45 years or so since I probably put this thing together, so bear with me. <laughs> Just uh, trying to figure it out, guys. Like I say, it's been a long time. That don't go there. Does that go there? No. Alright, so that one goes there. This one goes here. This should go here. Second level. Drawbridge extended. Alright. Ah, now I'm remembering. Now I'm remembering. I still don't think that's right. I think they go on the top level. We'll figure it out aren't big enough. and one down here. Okay, so the video decided to cut off on me mid-sentence, but I got that other strut in. Um, and I, again, I don't remember which one goes where. I would think the one with the X-Wing would go on the bottom with the computer center. Ultra gentle sliding this thing in here. Yeah, we're not going to force anything to fit. Um, this one up or down. Yep. Done here. Nice clicky clicks. The piece de resistance. And there you have it, folks. There it is 1978 Kenner Death Star playset. From the one, the only, Jeff Barker. Amazing, Jeff. I, I'm just still dumbfounded. I cannot believe you sent this to me. Holy moly. What I will probably end up doing is taking it apart again, give everything a good cleaning, um, you know, and uh, try to make sure all the parts fit appropriately this doesn't seem to slot in as snugly as it once did back in the 70s but we will work with it and get that fixed but it's a fantastic example i couldn't ask for anything better it, it's just blowing me away what can you say i mean <laughs> it's just it's 
fantastic, Jeff. It's it's incredible. I'm absolutely just mind blown. I I can't thank you enough. Um, I said it last time. I got a package from Andy with that golf or uh, that bowling game. I'm like, people are just replacing parts of my childhood that I've lost, and it is amazing. I. I appreciate this group of guys that we've gotten to know, to know, um, and it, it's just incredible. Um, if anyone sees anything in my videos that they've been looking for, they need, let me know. I will pick it up for you. We'll work something out, whatever the, the issue is. Um, but yeah, I what a fantastic group of guys i can't say enough about um our our crew we <laughs> there's a lot of toy collectors out there I, I watch tons of different channels all for different reasons you know um some i just like to see what's hitting in their stores some i like to watch because they have good production value others uh always get the hottest toys first you know there's different reasons to watch different groups but the personalities and, and the generosity and the just overall good human beings that we have kind of collected in our, our little side of the corner is, is phenomenal. You guys are absolutely awesome. So with that, I wish you all the best of luck on your next toy hunt. Please be nice to each other out there. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one.